guys, have you ever gotten bored during your weight loss journey and you want just a few other positive or healthy options to eat? Well, here's my fake fried catfish recipe. First, you'll need catfish nuggets, also crawfish boil or fish fry, and I also like the slap your mama seasoning and also a little curry powder for taste panko chips or breadcrumbs and also I like the great value kind because they come in an Italian seasoning I like the imitation eggs by great value and just a little bit of regular mustard and spray for your pan also you'll need two nice sized bowls for your wet and dry mix set your oven up for about 400 degrees depending on the type of oven you have also, I want to go ahead and I pour my eggs into a bowl, just like this one, really simple. After that, I'm going to move on to putting just a little bit of mustard. Now, you'll want to make sure that this consistency is good. You don't want it too runny, but you want it to be just a little bit thick to coat your fish. Now, not too thick, because you want to make sure that the fish isn't overly powered by it and it doesn't make your breadcrumbs all soggy. So then after that, I pour just a little bit of each seasoning into my hand. Now with the Slap Your Mom, it's a little more powdery, so I pour that directly in, but not too much. You don't want your fish to be too salty. Then just a little curry powder for taste. Blend it all together with a fork. I like a fork because it gets it to the consistency that I need it to be. Now we're gonna move on into our dry mix. Now, go ahead and pour your panko chips into, or breadcrumbs, I'm sorry. Pour them into your bowl. I like to pour both in, and I mix those with my hands. Now after mixing those well, you're gonna go ahead and coat your pan. Now, you wanna make sure this is good and coated so that your fish does not stick to the pan. Now it's time to deal with your defrosted and clean fish nuggets. Go ahead and dip those in. And I take just a little time to make sure there's not too much on there. Remember, if there's too much of the wet mix on there, it'll drown out your panko breadcrumbs. And it'll make them be a little bit soggy, which is disgusting for me, but you might like that. Now go ahead and dip the fish into your dry mix. I wanted to give you all a look at what it looks like in the dry mix. That's all. Now I'm just going to press lightly to make sure that all of the breadcrumbs are able to stick to the fish perfectly. I don't like my breading too thick, but I like to make sure that the fish is fully coated because it gives it good taste. Now, I go ahead and take the piece and return it to my pan. You're going to continue that with all of the pieces. Just repeat it for the amount of fish that you're going to have. If you try out this recipe, make sure you Instagram it to me. Get my at name below in the info section. Now, time to put the fish into the oven. I set my timer for about 12 minutes, but this is only my first turnover, so you'll probably need about 20 minutes for your fish to fully cook. When it comes out, it's all nice and brown. Brown it to your taste. Taste it, make sure it's good. Yes, this is a winner. Try it out, guys. Thanks for watching.